What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Looks like we're back with Connor here. I think this is immediately after... Sa no, it's not. It's immediately after uh, the investigation in the Eden Club. Or pretty close after, anyway. So we've got Hank over there. And we've got something to interact with over here. It looks like a magazine. You know how I love those? I was assuming that it was only snowing because they were going up north, but apparently uh, it's just getting cold today. The mysterious, mysterious Mr. Kamsky. What happened to the man of the century? Well, let's find out. China earthquake kills, kills 10,000 people? Shit. In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, reconstructed our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky disappeared. Ousted a CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story begins in 2018. Hey, check that out. When commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Bio Components. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly uh, passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching the uh, 500 billion valuation, that's weird, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with the shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of mysterious Mr. Kamsky? If it was on the outskirts of Detroit, I think people would be able to find him. Uh, market predicts war. The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday, following a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial exper experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of customers or consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor cyber life because of its partnerships with the D Department of Defense to why isn't that capitalized to develop and supply military androids with Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down the market is expected to continue falling okay the last episode when we found the uh, Detroit today in a place that looked like it had been bandit abandoned for a long time I was like this should be an old one but now that I think about it these are probably like updated wirelessly like in real time type of thing so like you only you only buy one but then if you have a subscription it updates it you know what i mean so even if it had been sitting there for years it probably was regularly updated all right i was just i was just checking all right hank let's have our heart to heart homie because you look like you're all like somber and shit right now Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. And you're still drinking. Stop it, dude. Uh, before let's see. what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... before androids nothing. were killed, or parent family was killed by androids. Go with the personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I mean, he is an investigation robot. Um, let's ask about the photo. photo let's not bring up the suicide. On your kitchen table. Ah, uh, it was fuck. your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole.
Maybe I should have asked him about the suicide instead, because then he could have not brought up the sun. He could have just brushed it off. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yeah, RA9. Maybe sending out a virus or something. There we go. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Or a God, anyway. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Preoccupied with knocking back these cold ones. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. Hmm. I didn't really see a, can have such an effect on you. An option that I you, wanted Connor? to pick, so I just kind of settled on ironic. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Um, neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. That's true. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Did you want him to shoot? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Okay. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Well, clearly not. He jumped off a building. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this Oh, uh, I should have said yes. That would have made him more human, you know? Nothing. Fuck. Oblivion. Android heaven. Um. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved. I don't like trauma most of these past? choices right now. You think you're so fucking smart? Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Ooh, how do we know he's I not a deviant? Regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. I don't think that's the answer he was looking for. But Where are you we're going? still friends. Get drunker. We're still friends and it says path locked, which is weird. Maybe we dipped down below friends because of one of the things I said and then it went back up. So it re-unlocked that path. I don't know if that's how it works. Uh, unless it shows us here. Yeah, it, it doesn't really. Um, but we did use that photo. Probably shouldn't have. We showed no fear, and Hank was placated. I wonder if he could have, if he would have shot Connor, if I had played that out incorrectly. Because there is another thing. Because Hank left Connor alone. I wonder if he would have shot him. Who knows, man? Finally, we're on the next day. Now we're back with Marcus. I like Marcus' storyline so far. It's pretty cool. Although I think it's a little heavy-handed. It's it's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if if it's gonna want me to recruit all these. Like, I feel like Mark is going to end up being some kind of messiah, you know? I wonder can't how... Stay silent anymore. How did I upset Josh? What we had to say. Why isn't he no friend like everybody else is? And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. 
What do you want to do? Channel 16 oh, now it's the next day. Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Hmm, so we're sneaking into a news tower. It looks like. Oh, look at this sick ass fucking future coat. Where did he get that sick ass future coat? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right. We need to get up to the 47th floor. And it looks like there may be three ways to do it. And I did get a thing over here. There is a spot at the counter with nobody at it. And then there's the receptionist. Oh, there is somebody. Let's analyze that. Got a smartwatch. I'm not going to remember that number. I'm pretty sure I don't have to. Her name is Elizabeth Wilson. She is a desk manager. She has a daughter. At St. Rose School. Oh. She's having some problems at home with her bills, it looks like. Oh, it's not a bill. It's just water service interruption. They're going to be working on something or something like that. And her parking badge. I don't know how any of that helps this present situation. Uh, did that unlock anything else to do? Because I can't seem to talk to the receptionist now. Oh. Oh, I guess doing that shows this as my, uh, as my path. Now remember, guys, nobody should know that Marcus isn't a human. Wilson speaking. Uh, let's do school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. So she's a human. Are they androids? She's an android. I can see the LED blinking up from under, and then the other one looks exactly like her. So, yeah, why would they have one human working and then two androids and not all androids? All right, well, how do we get through now? That didn't actually help unless I can do something with these androids to turn them over to my cause. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Do I? Or was I supposed to take something? From the uh, the human supervisor's ready. desk. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I want to check. Could I have taken something from her desk, like a parking pass? Or Yeah, because she left it there, but I guess it's too late now. We've already done it this way. Maybe swing around and grab it from this side. I'm gonna try. Can I look at that? Yeah. Oh, it's a. I thought it was just a painting, but it's literally of a dude playing in an orchestra. That's pretty cool. Nope, I can't get. All right, all right, chill. Yeah, I can't get over there to grab that parking pass. And that was a, like a stick prompt that I accidentally did because I was just straight up moving. Like, I didn't even mean to do it. Alright, that was decently easy, but now what the fuck do we need to do? Find the package in the men's bathroom. Uh, we are there. Men's bathroom is directly across. But there's probably all kinds of stuff to do here. So let's take a look. I 
Is this the server room? Got a an even bigger Roomba than normal right there. So there was just the one thing there? Yeah, it looks like it. And it is a magazine. You know how I love reading these guys. Look at this Call of Duty man. Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. This supplements an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the U.S. military. Actual numbers are a guarded military secret. Among these 50,000 new units are 2,500 Myrmidons, elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missions that would historically fall to Navy SEALs. And I bet, I bet their commanding officer is called Achilles. The U.S. Army's fighting forces are already comprised mainly of androids, with humans tending to serve as commanders and strategists. But even these positions are supported by complex AI, leading to leading some to describe the U.S. military as the first fully autonomous fighting force. Is that AI called Achilles? This has reopened the ethical debate around androids in the military, with some suggesting that machines don't have the moral reasoning to make life and death situations in the field. Maybe um, I, I feel like the events of this game are teaching us otherwise, but it, were it not for the fact that we've seen such as uh, Marcus, Connor, and Kara make those decisions, I would probably agree. Uh, Bob Woods, head of a war victims NGO, described the news as troubling, saying machines are focused on a single task and don't, ev don't evaluate moral consequences well. This will mean more civilian deaths. We know for a fact that Kara can make those distinctions. And if she can, maybe others can too. President Warren, a woman in trouble. Our American citizens, or, well, senators really corrupt. I think we've seen that headline before. Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlogger, what? And she looks exactly like Hillary Clinton. Look at that shit. Uh, Warren has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure elections. Where have we seen something like this before? Hmm. Now, with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Mired in accusations that she too is, or she is too close to big business. Again, where have we seen this before? She might as well be, her, her last name might as well be Trump. Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from Severlife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. Oh my god, this is so on the nose. In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history whilst fa facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. The conflict in the Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked finding a solution. Like, that was literally everything that people have been saying about Trump since he started running for president. It's so on the nose. Can I do anything with... No, I guess I don't need to. We, we know that sometimes things that count in that uh, percentage at the end don't actually show up as things that I can interact with. But uh, that is the door to the men's room. Can I go into this meeting room? Nope. Can I convert this thing to my side? No, I cannot. I know I'm wasting time, guys, but I just want to explore. If I could sprint or otherwise trot, I would. Alright, so we got people working in the room. That's cool. I don't know why you needed to show me that. Oh, I guess you could just look in all of them. That dude is 100% an android because it says it on his back, plus he's got the armband. Alright, we're just gonna go then. Unless there's something special. Oh, hey, she's on the news right now! Yeah, it looks like that's the only thing. Uh, I'm gonna walk a little bit past it and do the scan again to see if there's anything over in that corner. There is not. Let's go. Oh, hello. Is that like a green room or a waiting room or something? I don't know if this is... I mean, clearly this is where they... they uh, broadcast their news from, but... because we saw the lady at the desk. Alright. 
We need to get a package. Where would this package have been? Because if they said it, I was not paying attention. In the last stall. Is this the only one that's unoccupied? Are they all, all the other ones occupied? That was weird. How many people are in this building could be shitting at once? I don't even remember what we're retrieving. I really hope it's not a gun or a bomb. How was I not paying attention at the beginning when they talked about the... Oh, it was a uniform. Okay. All right. That makes sense. But he doesn't have an LED, guys. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking perfect right there. Is this guy doing anything? No? Alright, I can't go into his, his stall after he left and see if he dropped anything. You don't know, man. Nobody questions the fact there's an android in the bathroom because or in the restroom because they don't have to go in those. You know what I mean? Alright. Find the utility android. I'm, I swear I saw one already. Sorry, sir. Sir, listen. Alright, well, if his cart is there, should I take it to keep up my appearances? Oh, there he is. I assumed he was doing something. Oh, I guess. I don't know what I assumed. I need your help. Oh, that's just like the security guard. He has the same model as the security guard. Did you see that? The number was flickering on the back of Marcus's uniform here. I don't know if it always does that, but it looked like it was flickering. Okay, where is the fire escape? I did not see anything that even looked like a fire escape. But it looks like it should be this way. It is, no, it's a server room. Which I think we need to get into eventually. Where's the fire escape? Maybe that. Is that it? That has to be it. Guys, we got it. We did it, boys. Look at that, it totally is. Although it just looks like stairs, not fire escape. Wow, there's no alarm on it or anything? Alright, let's go to that server room. Which I'm assuming is where we're going. The camera's really weird. Like, I have to move it to look at eye level. Otherwise, it's looking Shit. downward. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I got it. Hey, gentlemen. You still play poker? I can't talk to him or anything, otherwise I'd just be like, hey, there's some shit going down over here. So, we need to find something to interact with. It's way over there. Oh, Marcus, at least try it a little bit, homie. Double time it. Alright, oh, the, uh... The advanced mother of all Roombas. There we go. Look at that. Now we have a Roomba for the Jericho. I should probably get away from it. Oh, it's too far from the guards. Oh, there's another one. I was like, do I have to wait for this to get over there? I didn't see one near them, though. I think they're right over there. They might be able to see this one. Yeah, I don't think they'll see this one either. We need to get it moving. Unless there's one over here. There is not. How can we get that guy moving? Right, we'll do it here anyway. Maybe they'll hear it. Because it looks like the other one fixed itself. So I could rehack it if need be. Or maybe it's going to... Hey, what's going on here? There we go. Shit, what's wrong with this thing? 
It's funny that they wouldn't assume that the utility right, droid the is the one that's supposed to fix it. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Lock that bad boy. All right, what can we do in here? Looks like the only thing we can do is take some shit out of that bag. So that's cool. I wanted to look around, make sure. Or take the said bag. What am I doing with the bag? Oh. Oh, cut the window. I saw that on the thing. Okay. I guess this is where we're making our escape. Okay. There we go. You should probably hold on to those before you're finished cutting it, or it's just going to fall out. Did we do what we were supposed to do? Like, did North have that covered or what? I guess North had that covered. Okay. Ladies first. You know, those are some cool ass utility uniforms. They look like soldiers. Do I do I get a rope? Alright, now let's try not to have Marcus die here. That would be super cool if he didn't die. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I can see this happening. I can see the rope uh, busting and making me do some QTEs that I fail and Marcus just falls to his death. I'd be a little upset since I think Marcus is my favorite of the three characters so far. Or maybe they're not going to do anything like that, and I'm going to get up there just fine. I am holding up, though. The controller's going crazy, I guess, because of the wind and shit. Get a little bit more straightened out here. Does nobody see them do this? Like, aren't these all windows? That was a cool touch. You didn't have to do that, him adjusting because of the, the rope. Although, I guess they use it as ways to make you have to do more QTEs other than just a big circle. Oh, I have to hold it. Sorry. <laughs> you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Right? Let's Leave her alone, yours. dude. Hey, we're utility drone or droids again. Nothing to check out here. Some beer. All right. Then we are moving on. We're getting to be about that time, and I don't want to leave it here. Just kidding. I'm leaving it here, everybody. That is all the time I've got. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it just to make sure that you know, maybe we're not timed. I don't fucking know. Uh, if you like the video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Detroit Become Human or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want YouTube to actually tell you when those videos come out, you're going to need to hit that notification bell. And if you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike button. I'm not going to be mad at you. But whatever you decide to do, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.